Renee and her team have discovered a prehistoric cemetery unlike any other. The wild animals were sourced from across the continent. They were kept in captivity and fed by humans. For Rene, there can be only one feasible explanation for this bizarre site. So here, in essence, we have the world's first zoo. This dates back over 6,000 years ago. This is before even the invention of writing, uh, before the invention of the potter's wheel. This is before pyramids were even a glint in some king's eye. The animals from the zoo would become key players in Egypt's religious iconography. They were buried alongside the early rulers of Hierakonpolis. We've been able to get dates on our animals now from what they had for their final meal. And this has allowed us to get carbon-14 dates which has been showing us that many of these animals were buried all at the same time because the dates are almost identical. Incredibly, these animals did not die of natural causes. They were all systematically slaughtered and buried around their ruler. This ruler, like the other ones we have here, had a number of animals with him. So we have a leopard, we have baboons, we have an aurochs, we have a crocodile, and we have an ostrich. Rene now suspects that when a ruler died, his captive animals were killed and buried with him. Their mystical power would accompany the ruler to the afterlife. But evidence reveals it wasn't just animals that were slaughtered for the royal burial. It was also women and children. At a funeral, everybody went together, um, that both the animals and the humans were accompanying the ruler to the next life. The bones from the graves reveal a disturbing tradition, the mass slaughter of humans and animals to mark a ruler's passing. Posts in the ground and remnants of colored wood indicate the tombs were once covered. This was a lavish funeral complex of unrivaled grandeur in prehistoric Egypt. So you have the main tomb in the center, which you can see over there. Then you have the human burials, which will be laid out all around. And then surrounding that were all the animals, forming like a belt of protection. <laughs> 